Now, one of the many criticisms of current day Star Wars is the way that it handles lightsaber injuries. See, in the past, lightsabers were depicted as pretty terrifying instruments of death that could slice through limbs, droids, steel beams, and blast doors like butter. And if you happen to get run through with one, well, it was pretty much curtains for you. Nowadays though, major injuries like this are treated more like minor inconveniences that characters can just walk off. Like Reva, who got impaled not once, but twice by a lightsaber and survived with no long-term repercussions. Or Sabine from the recent episode of Ahsoka, who had a blade stuck in her for a good five or six seconds and turned out to be just fine afterwards. Now, there's been a lot of debate back and forth about how believable this all is, but nobody seems to have a definitive answer about what a lightsaber would actually do to you. Until now. Lucky for you, dear viewer, the drinker is here, and I'm about to science the shit out of this one. Now, in order to understand the effects of a lightsaber on a living body, we first need to understand what a lightsaber is and how it works. Well, basically a lightsaber is a blade of highly energised plasma energy that burns between 15,000 and 23,000 degrees Celsius, which makes it extremely effective at cutting through virtually any material in the Star Wars universe. It basically melts and vaporises whatever it comes into contact with, which makes it ideal for slicing off limbs to disarm opponents with quick, efficient strokes. But what would it do to Sabine here, who gets one shoved right into her torso and held there for a protracted length of time? Well, let's consider it from a biological view first of all. We know that Sabine is a Mandalorian, which in Star Wars terms makes her human, with roughly the same physiology as us. This is very useful because we know what humans look like on the inside. We also know that she was impaled in the lower right side of the abdomen at an upward angle, which means the blade would likely have penetrated her upper intestines, kidney and possibly her liver too. If this was just a regular old steel bladed sword, then such an injury would cause catastrophic damage to her internal organs and almost certainly be fatal without immediate medical intervention. But this isn't a sword, it's a lightsaber, which means that Sabine has got much bigger things to worry about now. See, as I mentioned earlier, lightsabers burn at temperatures of up to 23,000 degrees, which is about three times as hot as the surface of the sun in case you were wondering. Now, water, on the other hand, boils and turns into steam at just 100 degrees, and the plasma that makes up our blood is composed of about 90% water. So what would this mean for Sabine? Well, in less than a second, the blood plasma in the vicinity of the lightsaber blade would immediately heat up and flash into steam, expanding rapidly as its density decreases. The convection effects of heat travelling through surrounding tissue would cause the effect to accelerate until it ruptured the containment vessel, in this case, her body. Now, in the worst case, this would mean a highly energised steam explosion similar to the one that destroyed the reactor core at Chernobyl. The best case scenario is that her body would expand like a balloon, with steam rushing out of every available orifice until eventually it lost all structural integrity and blew apart. Either way, I think it's safe to conclude that such an injury would be fatal. But wait, there's an even bigger problem to deal with. See, water is made up of two chemical elements, hydrogen and oxygen, and if you heat them up enough, they'll split apart. This actually happens at comparatively low temperatures of just 2000 degrees. But we're not at 2000 degrees, we're at 20,000 and above. And at that temperature, the hydrogen atoms won't just split away from their oxygen friends, they'll ignite explosively in the extreme heat. Not in the same way as a hydrogen bomb, but more like the Hindenburg disaster. So basically, Sabine's entire body would literally combust right in front of her eyes as the hydrogen-oxygen separation spreads as a chain reaction until it consumes all the available fuel in the vicinity. She would effectively be incinerated at the atomic level, and all that would be left would be a small pile of chemical byproducts. So no, she probably wouldn't be able to walk this one off. But anyway, just in case you ever wondered what would actually happen if you got run through by a lightsaber, you have your answer. Nothing good. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.